Well, hello there, friends. Fantastic video today. Steak dinner on a budget. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned. We're going to do it together right now. Well, hello there, friends. Have you seen the price of beef lately? Holy moly, you gotta take a second mortgage on the house to eat two steaks. You go to a restaurant, it's at least 30, 40, 50 dollars per person. So I decided, let's do a steak dinner on a budget. Okay, I bought those two steaks right here, two New York strip. Okay, it's not prime, it's not the best quality there is, but it's choice, okay? That's what you find in most stores today. And, um, and they are uh, nine to 10 ounces. So at $20 a pound, these two steaks right there were $18.50. That's not bad, okay? That's a, and then we're gonna saute some mushroom, we're gonna do some potato, it's gonna be a nice dinner. Where, where are you gonna get a dinner for two, two steaks for 20 bucks? Or well, maybe a little more with the mushroom and the spinach and all that, so it's not that much expensive. I decided it's time to do something on a budget. Prices of food is ridiculous these days, my goodness. So, friends, I got the New York strip in here. We're going to do them in clarified butter. I'm going to wait a little bit because I want to do a couple of things in the meantime, okay? So we're going to saute some mushrooms and we're going to do the, the, the potatoes. I have a video already on the potato done. It's right over there. And, uh, and you can click on it, you'll see it. I'm just going to do them really quick. So because the idea of this video is to show you that it can all be down, a little bit out of oil, it can all be down easily what do we need to do in advance okay a little bit of chopping and dicing chopping the mushroom chopping the spinach chopping the herbs i'm going to make a little herb butter the steaks we give you you could certainly do it if you want to do i had a perfect steak friends perfect 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 and you have time you can do it salt to 24 hours before and do all that go check out that video we did about how to cook the perfect steak right over there there's a link and you'll see it. it's really cool okay um but so we're gonna let that right, and then a little bit here for the potatoes. The potatoes, the trick of my potato recipe, friends, the trick, it's not really a trick, okay? It's to pre-cook the potato in advance. All right, so we're gonna do that. A little bit of sauteed onion, let's put some extra onion. Well, you we never have too many onion, eh? Somebody tell you there's too much onion on your food, you tell them to go somewhere else, all right? So we're gonna saute them onions right there, and a little bit of bell peppers. But first, we're gonna wait for the onion to get some colors. And the potatoes, the only thing I did, friends, I pre-cooked them. And, uh, and when you check out the video, you'll see how we do it correctly. We do it with a little bit of vinegar water. And if you look at them, you can see a little bit of the extra starch and it's coming out when they start to be white like that. They, you could eat them right now, okay? But we're not gonna eat them, okay? We're not gonna eat them yet because we're gonna saute them first, okay? So now we're gonna do the mushroom, okay? So mushroom, we're gonna saute them in little shallots. You don't have shallots? Use onion, it's perfectly fine. Okay, same family right here. Little um, uh, shallots, and shallots are not like onion, they don't require that much caramelization, but they're doing a pretty good job at it right now. Little mushroom, and the mushroom are gonna take a while to get rid of the water, friends. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some salt, and that's gonna help us draw some of the water from the mushroom. Hey, you, come back over here, you. Did you see that? That mushroom just jumped in the, <laughs> over there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Just want to make sure we're all good. A little bit of black pepper right here on the mushroom. We're going to get rid of all the water in the mushroom. We're looking good with the onion here. Maybe a little more caramelization. Let's get going with the steaks. So on the steaks, friends, I got, I don't have the right temperature yet. The only thing I'm really going to do for those steaks, folks, I'm going to put some black pepper in here. And you hear a lot of people tell you, don't put the black pepper, you're going to burn it. Where they got that idea from? I promise you, friends, that black pepper is not going to burn in five minutes in a fry pan. I promise you. I've been doing this for 50 years. One of my favorite steak is the steak au poivre. And I've been doing it like this for 50 years. And I promise you that I don't like burn pepper. And my pepper, it never gets burned. You put it in here like this. Okay, I can, now I gotta wash my hand. Uh, <laughs> I gotta at least get them a little cleaner. Let's see how we're doing here, friends. We're doing good. We're doing good. I wanna get rid of all the water. 
OK, the only one could certainly caramelize a little more, but they're gonna. They're gonna. They, they're gonna caramelize bell peppers, chop small, because we want them to cook at the same time, eh? Let's make sure I'm not too hot. What temperature do I have? I want to be at about 350, 365. We're using clarified butter, friends. If you don't have clarified butter, use a good cooking oil, okay? Whatever cooking oil you want to use, like avocado oil is perfect to do this. When we are, oh, mamma mia, I got to put more pepper in here. How am I doing? I'm doing good. Just checking, because I got three pan going. <laughs> you may want to take your time. No, you put less pepper if you don't like too much pepper. And salt is best, friends, if you put the salt in advance, if you have the time. But this is like a quick dinner. We didn't have time to do it in advance, so we're doing it right now, okay? And it's okay. The perfect way to do it is to try to put the salt at least an hour before. But this thin steaks that they're going to do fine. We're going to put them in, and we're not going to touch them. We're going to leave them alone. We're going to create a beautiful Maya reaction. Let me clean my hands. We're going to create a beautiful Maya reaction, caramelization of protein, and that's really going to be some beautiful flavor. Mushrooms, I'm going to reduce them a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to reduce them a little bit. They're losing all their water. The potatoes, remember they cooked already, friends. They part-boiled, okay? We're going to put them in there. We're going to give them a nice flavor right there. Little black pepper. And then at the end, we're going to put some parsley and butter. Butter. We love butter. Did I put salt in there? No. But here it is. I know I, know I already put salt over there. Okay. While all this is doing, I'm going to make a quick little butter. We're going to put some spinach with the mushroom, friends. Just a little spinach. Chopped spinach. So it's basically a little mushroom spinach dill with um, with little potatoes and a flavored butter. Really, really simple to do, eh? There you go. How are we doing here? We want to get some color on the potatoes, so let's get some good heat on there. How are we doing here? Remember, don't touch it. Leave it alone. Create some beautiful Maya reaction. We're not there yet. We're going to make a beautiful butter, my friends. I got to wash my hands again. You know, I got a thing. I can't cook in a dirty kitchen, and I cannot cook with dirty hands. So I have to constantly clean things. Let me move this out of the way. I have to constantly clean things. I can't work with dirty hands. You have a thing about this. Okay, so now, we're gonna make a little uh, butter. You can flavor butter, you can make them like that. I'm gonna make a video on all the different flavors. You can do it like that, or you can do it simply. I'll show you. We're gonna take a little spoon here, friends. Let me see, make sure everything is okay here. Yeah, everything is good. We're gonna flavor this at the last minute. How are we doing here, the stick? Let me check it, let me check it. I want a beautiful color. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're not quite there yet. Okay, a little bit of fresh tarragon, fresh tarragon. A little bit of fresh thyme, a little bit of fresh garlic, I mean a fresh uh, parsley, and yes, a little bit of fresh garlic. Okay, this is like an herb butter, friends. Very simple to make, you see, look. You can make this at the last minute, just make sure your butter is at room temperature when you do this, friends. Butter has to be at room temperature. If your butter is not at room temperature, you're going to have a tough time mixing it, right? And then what we do, at the last minute, we're going to put it on top of the stack and we're going to let it melt. It's going to be great. Okay, let me see how we're doing here, friends. Oh, yes, we're, going to look, we're looking beautiful. All right, so now, let me explain you something. How are we doing here? We're doing good. We're getting a little caramelization? Yeah, we're getting a little caramelization. How are those guys doing? Those guys don't flip so good. That's okay. We're going to get them. There you go. There you go. Cooking that spinach a little bit. All right, so that's gonna be a nice little side order. We're gonna put a little garlic at the last minute. Potatoes are doing quite well. They're starting to get a little caramelization. The steaks. So now, friends, this is too thick of a steak to cook. We're gonna pop them in the oven for a few minutes, just a few minutes. 
Like maybe four or five, four or five minutes, depends how you like it. Cook, my friends. This um, uh, uh, steak right here is about three quarter of an inch steak. I can certainly do it in a fry pan, but if I do it in a fry pan, you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna overcook the outside in order to cook the inside. So I'm gonna put it in the oven for a few minutes. I got my oven at 450, 500. Put it as high as your oven can go. 500, we're gonna leave it in there. It's gonna get a beautiful crust. Um, remember now, I flipped it, right? So the bottom one is gonna be really, really forever full. It, and that's why I flip, I put it on top. So now the bottom one is now cooking in the oven, so you don't need to do both sides as much, all right? So let's check out those potatoes. Those potatoes, look, see friends? Nice caramelization right there. So they're almost ready. We're gonna let them rest for a second. This is done, we're good. The batter is done. So here's what I'm gonna do, friends. I'm gonna put this in the fridge for a second because I wanna be able to scoop it out with a ice cream scoop to put on the steak. When the steak comes out, I'm gonna let him rest for a few minutes and then we come back. We're gonna finish the video together. I'm gonna put the whole dish together, okay? See, look at the potatoes, friends. See, we got nice caramelization right there. In the last minute, I'm gonna put garlic and parsley on it at the last minute, because I don't wanna burn the garlic. Remember, we don't put the garlic at the beginning, it was a burn, and if it burns, it becomes bitter. We don't like it. Mushrooms, I'll be, and, the, and the spinach will be perfectly fine at the side on the dish, it'll be perfectly beautiful. And we're gonna also add a little bit of garlic, because we got garlic everywhere in here. I hope you like garlic. All right, so we'll be back in a few minutes, folks, okay? Maybe three, four minutes. Okay? The steak is gonna need to rest though when we take it out. And then we'll put the bottle right on top of it. All right, so we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends, depends how you like it cook. You don't want to leave it in there too long, okay? Get used to it. Remember, don't be afraid, friends, to get a thermometer. Eh? Then you know how you like it cook. If you like it rare, medium rare, 120, 125 degrees. If you like it more cooked, then 130, 135, 140. However you like it, there's no right or wrong here. Let's take it out of the oven. Oh, yeah. Oh, this fry pan is very hot. Let's take it out of the oven. Whew. Remember, friends, remember, number one rule in a commercial kitchen and at home, <laughs> you take something out of the oven, you leave a towel on it. I don't care if you're by yourself, leave a towel. You think you're by yourself and then all of a sudden the kids come from home, hey, what are you cooking here, dad? Or mom, and they grab the pan. Believe me, I did that one time when I was in a restaurant business. And uh, it was so bad, I'm still remembering. It's probably 35 years ago when I grabbed the pan that was in the middle of the kitchen full of rice. And the pan was so hot that when I grabbed it, it stuck to my hand. And when I went like this, it took the skin with it. So I promise you, I never do that again. In the commercial kitchen, if somebody does that, we kick him out. Because that is so dangerous. Okay, so remember, we take it out, you do that. So now what do we do? We take these steaks. Put them on the side. Look how beautiful they look. Look how beautiful they look. Now, if I was not doing my, my, my butter right there, I would pour this out and I would deglaze and make a reduction, wine reduction or stock or something. You can do a basic pen sauce and I have a lot of videos when I do that, but this is not tonight. This is not this afternoon. This is not this video. So we're not doing this, all right? So now, the potatoes, are done. Matter of fact, I forgot the potatoes. So they're a little more cooked than I want. Actually, they're good. Some people are gonna like it. <laughs> Some are gonna say, hey, they're all too cooked. A little bit of chopped parsley right there, friends. And they are, some of them are a little uh, a suntan. <laughs> but I think we're fine with it. Here you go, put a little parsley in there. They don't see it, right? You can also, what I like to do at the last minute, put it just a little bit of, of olive oil. And we got ourselves some beautiful potatoes. The spinach, and I mean the spinach. Yeah, the spinach. <laughs> the spinach and the mushrooms are done. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic to it. Just a little bit of garlic. I don't know. Just the heat of the pan is enough to release the fragrance of the garlic, eh? Very delicate, remember. So this is done. The steak, the steak. Now we got the butter. What I like to do with the, with the butter, friends, I take an ice cream scoop. Small one. You see this, I don't use that for ice cream. <laughs> for ice cream, I use the big one. I got big ones, I'll show you. I got everything. 
This is my ice cream scoop. Check it out. Yeah, when I go here, I want to scoop ice cream here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So look, you take it right there, friends. You take your bottle right there, you see? <laughs> Do I have an ice cream scoop? Yeah, I got one. And you leave it right there, friends. So while the steak is resting, a lot of people think it's going to get cold. It's not going to get cold, friends. This is going to allow the juice to redistribute in the steak. But I, I highly recommend you go watch How to Cook the Perfect Steak where I explain the whole thing. Okay? And, and I promise you, you learn a lot. But the steak doesn't get cold. Uh, not, not for the little time then it's the rest. But the fact that you save so much juice of the meat by not cutting it right now. If you cut it right now, I promise you, you're going to lose a lot. But if you let it rest, you're not going to use as much. Okay? Ten minutes, I promise you. It's not going to get cold. So we're going to wait a little bit. We have everything down. The potatoes are down. The, the mushrooms are down. And the spinach are down. We're going to wait. And while it's waiting, this, um, this butter right there. What did I do with the scoop? Here we go. Right there. This scoop right there is going to slowly melt on it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Check this out. You like this? I love it. Yes. You know, I love a good sauce, and don't get me wrong. I, I love a good sauce, but this right there, too? <laughs> let me tell you, my friends, this is going to be amazing. We got to let it rest. Let it rest so we don't use all the juices. We're going to lose some, but I hope we don't lose too much. All right, so when I come back, we'll play, then we'll cut into it, okay? So we'll be back in a few minutes. Let's give them... And it's been out, what, two, three minutes maybe? So we give it another seven minutes, all right? And it's not going to be cold, I promise you. We'll be back. Okay, friends. Well, we are back. And um, it looks like we lost a lot of juice, but we haven't even cut into the meat. It's not the juice right there. We got a little bit of butter in there and probably the clarified butter from the pan because we haven't even cut into it yet. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, when I make my plate, and, uh, and we're going to put the spinach in here with a mushroom, Right in here, I'm doing a putting it in a ring just because uh, I like to make it look pretty, but yeah, yeah, just put it in a plate, don't worry, okay? I'm just making one plate. All right, we'll put it on the plate right there and we'll leave it alone just like this. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat, but I like to make it look okay, you see? Try to look here, you go, come back over here, right? So we got this and then we're gonna put the, uh, the potatoes right there. The potatoes and have a nice suntan. But some of you love that. I, I heard the comment. I heard a comment. We love it when it's browned. Then you know what? You're going to be happy. Because those guys are nice in color brown. <laughs> nice, nice color. Right? We, I like to drizzle just a little bit of my garlic olive oil on there. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we can put a little bit of extra fresh black pepper. Just extra. This is perfect. I got to learn to remove things out of the way, right? Then we're going to take the steak. Uh, where's my tongue? Oh, ha, I got a tongue right there. There you go. I'm going to take it right there and we're going to put it on the plate. Right there, my friends. And now you can rub the butter all over the place. You can put a nice piece of, uh, of tarragon because remember, tarragon is the herb uh, yeah, I can see it's all clarified butter right there. The, the, the herbs uh, uh, of the butter, the main one that's going to be flavorful is the tarragon. So now all we got to do is take this guy out. So you see, so it looks a little nicer right there. And my friends, we got ourselves a beautiful steak dinner that really did not cost us that much money. I promise you, you go to a restaurant and you have this, it's gonna cost you $30, $40 per person. That's how meat is very expensive these days. So let's cut into it, okay, friends? Let's cut into it because I know all of you wanna see it. So I have it right there. And let's cut in and see what we got. And right there, it's beautiful rare. That's the way I like it. You want a more cook? Remember, this is 125, 122, 123. Um, you like a more good than that, cook it to 130, 135, okay? And this right there, my friends, is, is amazing. You see, to me, it's cooked perfect. And as you notice, you know, we always have uh, the critic then say, well, you got a lot of gray line. You don't have much at all. Cooked in the oven like this, you don't have that much as long as you pan it hot. And look how beautiful this is, my friend. I'm going to take a smaller piece. You know what I like to do? I like to put it in the bottle. Oh, 
Mm. The flavor, you know what's come out the most? Mm. It's the tarragon. The tarragon is so powerful. Try to find fresh tarragon. If you can't find fresh tarragon, that's okay to use dry. But this is amazing, friends. I hope you tried. Steak dinner on a budget. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. We'll see you next couple of days with another fantastic video. Thanks for watching, everybody.